hello, welcome to Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, today I'm going to look at the deadly rated killer Sudoku uh, from the Times. Um, this is, I think, the hardest killer Sudoku published in the national press in the UK. Um, so, uh, although I think that the Telegraph holds the, uh, the prize for the hardest regular type of Sudoku, which is their Diabolical, that appears on Fridays, um, I think in terms of killer, this one is the best. Um, so you can see all I'm going to go and do at the start is some very obvious things where we have restricted cages. Um, let's just fill those in and see see what we can see from uh, this pattern. Um, and let me talk about how I would approach uh, sort of doing logical things to solve the puzzle. Um, the first thing I would look at is row 9, looking at this sort of geometric pattern. The reason is every row, column, and 3x3 three three box in a, in a Sudoku contains the numbers from 1 to 9, exactly once. Um, so the numbers 1 to 9, if you add them up, you'll get to the number 45. So I know that row 9 here adds to 45. But I also can see that I've got three cages here already in row 9, which sum to 17, 35, 42. So I know these 7 cells sum to 42, and therefore, in order to make sure that the row adds to 45 altogether, these two cells here must add up to 3. Now, two cells that add up to 3 is only possible in one way, and that's if both the cells are 1 and 2 in some order. So we can actually fill that 1, 2 in, What's more, that gives us this cage in terms of it must contain 3 and 4 because 7 can be 1, 6 or 2, 5, uh, both of which are ruled out because the 1 and the 2 are not in this cage. That only leaves 3, 4. So actually, this 18 now has to be 5, 6, 7. So let's fill that in too. And we're starting to make a little bit of progress. Now the next thing I would note um, is I would start to use simple Sudoku logic on these fours. So I've got two, four in one of these positions and a four in one of these three positions. That means in this cage here, in this three by three box, there has to be a four in one of these three positions. But that four cannot be here, because if it was, we couldn't make this 17 total work. These two cells, in fact, have to add to 14. But clearly, if one of them was a four, the other would be a 10. And we all know that you can't have 10 in a box in a Sudoku puzzle. So, in fact, this is a 4. And that's our first positively identified number. But we can go further again, because this 9 now, there are lots of ways of making 9 in two cells, but there is, there's only one once the 4, a 1, and a 2 are elsewhere. And that's if these two are 3 and 6. And if these two are 3 and 6, this 14 can only be 5 and 9 now, because it can't be 6 and 8 anymore. And therefore, this cell here must be an 8, and this cell must be a 7, and this must be a 5. Apologies if I'm going fairly quickly here. It's just um, I'm not intending to do anything earth-shattering, and if I do anything earth-shattering, I'll try and flag it. So. These two cells have to sum to 14 in this 18 cage because we had a 4 in this position. And we have a 5, 9 already, so the only way that that's possible is if these two are 6 and 8. And you can see that gives us a whole load of other numbers because, oh, no, it doesn't give us that number. This, this cell here is a 9. Now, as the 6s are already appearing in this 3x3 three three cage, neither of these cells can contain a 6. Therefore, this must be a 6 which means we can remove 6 from these two positions. And now, we still need to include a 3 in this in this cage somewhere. It can only now go in this position. So let's write that in. Um, OK, can we see anything else easy there? Well, yes, we can. We can now identify the value of this cell. So think about it. If you can't see how to do that, you should pause the video. Um, and, and have a think. And then I will now explain why we can write this, this number in. It's because again we can use this principle that this box must add to 45. Now this 3 here 
means that these three cells have to sum up to 10 because it, they're part of a 13 cage. So we have 10 here, plus 6, that's 16, plus 7 is 23, plus 14 is 37. This cell therefore must be an 8. There's nothing else it can be in order to ensure the, K, the whole 3x3 three three box adds to the right number. Now we have a 14 cage here that doesn't contain an 8 therefore that must be 5 and 9. So we can write that in and we're left with what 1, 2, 7 into these positions so I'd probably write that down just to, as an aid memoir. We've made some very good progress now on the whole of the, uh, the bottom three rows of the grid. And then we can, what can we do? Well, actually, look, we've got a seven cage here that I should have flagged up first of all. We can write one, two, and four into, into that. So this can't be a one because of this configuration here. Ah, okay, we can write down the value of this cell. We can actually write it straight in. Um, so again, I really recommend pausing the video it's really worth it because you'll start to see the patterns in these puzzles and how they appear over and over again. Um, I'm just writing as a 6789 combination there that we can write in as well. So let's just do that while I'm pausing. Um, so how can we write down the value of this, this cell? Well we can use our principle of 45 in a slightly different way, this time on the last two columns of the grid. So if I draw an imaginary line down here like this, it should be pretty obvious that every number to the right of my imaginary line, once we have the complete solution, will sum to 90 because it will contain two complete columns that we know individually sum to 45. So everything to the right of this line will sum to 90. But look, the only number that sticks out from all of the cages that we can add up to the right of this line is this number. So let me show you what I mean. So we've got 11 plus 19 is 30, plus 22 is 52, plus 9 is 61, plus 17 is 78. Therefore, in order to ensure that these, these two columns are complete, these two numbers have to sum to 12 to make, make the total 90. Now if these two numbers sum to 12, this number has to be a 9. We can write that in. Remove a 4 from this box here. What have we got? We've got 1, 2, 3, and 6 to place in this column. I might write that in just for the sake of good order. And you can see, in fact, this cell cannot contain a 1 because then this would be 8 and 9, and that would clash with this 9. And it can't be a 2 either for the same reason. This would be 7, 9. Again, that would cause a clash. So you can limit that cell somewhat. Um, yes, in fact we can go further than that, because if this was a 3, then these two cells would have to sum to 15, and you can see how they can't, it can't be 6, 9 because of the 9 here, and it also can't be 7, 8 because of this 30 cage here. If there was a 7 and an 8 in these two cells, um, this, these three cells could not be filled. They could contain a 6 and a 9, but once you got to the third digit, it would have to be a 7 or an 8. So in fact, this can't be a 3 either. This has to be a 6, um, which is a nice thing to notice. It allows us to remove a 6 from this position. And we should be able to make a little bit more progress, I think, if we just think about this now. And we can make more progress because the the two options for this cell now, obviously 3, 9 is ruled out for a variety of reasons, but 4, 8 is, is a, I guess, possible. We'll sh I'll show you why it's not possible in a sec. And 5, 7, we, because we know these two cells have sum to 12. But if if we put 4, 8 in as the possibility here, look what happens to this 7 cage. It can't be filled anymore because there wouldn't be anywhere we could place a 4 in this cage. Um, because of this 4 ruling out this being a 4. So in fact this has to be 5, 7. And once it has to be 5, 7, it has to be in this order because of this 5 here. Um, and now we can remove 7 
in these positions and therefore this must be a 7 as well and this cell here has to be a 2 or a 4 now like that which means that this cell is a 1 this one as well now I've got 2 and a 4 here so this cell is a 1 it's all resolving itself reasonably reasonably nicely now we can use simple Sudoku rules quickly here we have a 1 here we have a 1 in one of these two positions therefore we need to place a 1 in one of these three positions now you can see this can't be a 1 because then these two cells would have to sum to 19 that's impossible this can't be a 1 because then this cell would have to contain a 12 not possible so the only place a 1 can go actually is here let's write that in And we can quickly rule out, uh, so what have we got in this row now? We've got a 1, a 3, a 6, 8 and a 9 that we know the positions of. Therefore, we've got 2, 4, 5 and 7 to place. This is a 2 or 4, this is a 5 or 7. So these two cells are 2, 4, 5 or 7 in some order. But look, there are lots of things we can rule out here. Neither of these cells can contain a 2. That should be obvious. Therefore, the only place a 2 can go is here. Let's write that in give us a few more numbers like this which is all good um, and now we need to place a 4 in one of these two positions well this can't be a 4 because then this would be a 9 so this has to be a 4 if this is a 4 this is 7 9 in some order well that's forced to be that way around so we can write that in it gives us this 9 5 then is resolved um, okay, so now this has to be a 5 or a 7. If it's a 7, this would be a 6, which is ruled out by this. So in fact, this has to be a 5, that has to be an 8, this has to be a 7, this has to be a 5. So that's another good dose of progress we've made there. Um, now we can isolate the values of these two cells. So let's do that and just see if it gives anything useful. So these three cells sum to 24. These two cells sum to 7. Uh, so 24 plus 7 is 31. So I know that these four cells sum to 14. But these two cages sum to 25. So these two cells have to sum to 11. Now, what's possible? Well, 2, 9 isn't possible, and 4, 7 isn't possible. So 3, 8 would be possible, but only in this order. And 5, 6 looks to be possible in either order. So those that would be the possibilities, but then I'm just wondering if any of these are ruled out by this 9 cage. So this would have to be 4, 3, or 1. <laughs> Bizarrely enough, all possible at the moment. So, okay. Ah, that we can remove a 7 from there. 2, 3, 4. This has to be 2, 3, or 4. And this is 3, 4, or 5. Okay. Out. We've got 1 and 6 here, so we should remove the 1 and the 6. And the 6 here. Oh, that's nice. So these two cells sum to 5 now, because they have to. Now if that's the case, these two cells have to sum to 17, which forces them to be 8 and 9, which again is resolved because of crossing entries down here. Okay, so that looks nice. We can now write the 8 and the 6 in down at the bottom. Still got to place a 7 in here. Well, this 7 forces that 7 to be here. So these two cells here have to be 3 and 6, which means they have to be that way around. Locks that 3 up at the top there. Okay. And this is going to fix this 5. So this 3 here removes 3 
from these two cells, but now we, in order for this 8 to work, it can only be one of the 2, 5 variation. It can't be 3, 4 anymore because of this 3. So this has to be a 5, and this has to be a 2, which forces this to be a 1, allows us to remove a few more numbers down at the bottom. Okay, these two have to be 3 and 4 in some order. They sum to 7, therefore this cell has to be 8. We can remove 8 from here and 1 from here. I have a 3, 4 double. You can see that there. 3, 4, 3, 4. Oh, in fact, we can remove this 7 here, forces this to be a 2. Uh, this 5 here now removes. This is a 5, that's a possibility, that has to be 6, therefore 3, 4, 3, 1, 1, 3, 3, 4, this has to be a 5, this is 2, 9 in some order, but we actually can't tell yet which way around that's going to go. This has to be a 6. Okay. So we're very nearly there now, I think. Um, 1, 5, 8 to place along here in row 2. You can see that the 5 and the 8 here force this, therefore, to be a 1. This is a 5 and an 8 in some order. Therefore, this is a three or a six, but it can't be a three, so this must be a six, this must be a five, this must be the eight. Um, now looking across the top row we have to place four and seven, again we're forced to do it in that way, that order there. These two now sum to fifteen, therefore these two have to sum to four, the only way that's possible is in that direction like that. That forces this to be a four, this to be a six. Um, now this is an 8 or a 9 here, we can clearly see it can't be a 9, it's an 8, this is an 8, this is a 9. Um, now we should be able to now resolve some of this down here in order to ensure the puzzle solves. Yeah, it's all starting to, starting to work nicely. Uh, so what have we got? We've got 2, 4, 7, 9 to place. Uh, so this is 4, 9, 9. Four, seven, two, two, nine, and a nice straightforward Kilisadoku. I hope that was a useful run through. Thanks for watching.